Okay, everyone. We have quite a special treat today. This is the extremely rare, these days, big-headed turtle. And in this case, it's an even more rare situation where it's actually a juvenile. Um, as you can see, just by the rocks that he's on, how well camouflaged these guys are. And they're incredibly hard to come by. They're actually a protected species, so we're just gonna get some quick video and then leave them be. But my buddy here actually found him. He's got quite an eye for these things. And this is just really, really uh, special and unusual to come across. So I know we're usually focused on the snakes, but these guys are too good to pass up for sure. And we found him just in this little niche area um, he was moving along, so he's actually not going to be able to get away too quick, so we're going to be able to get some great video. Um, but yeah, what a, what a cool little animal. And when these guys get bigger, their heads are so big compared to their body, they're completely incapable of tucking it back into their shells. And they live in cold mountain streams and are really, really adept at scaling rocks. They can go right up a vertical face with their claws, and my understanding is they also use their tails. Um, to help balance as they move up and down the rock faces. So, I'm not sure we're ever going to be able to get another one of these on the video, so let's definitely take a minute on them. But you can see here as juveniles, they actually have really brightly colored faces, um, orange colored faces with that beautiful stripe. When they get older, their face completely darkens out. And for anyone used to species like uh, the common snapping turtles in the U.S., they actually look like a miniature version of a common snapping turtle with an extra large head. So, pretty, pretty cool species. You can see some of the environment here. You can probably hear the uh, fast-flowing river nearby as well. Yeah, very cool. So let's, uh, we'll take a, another minute or two to film him and then watch him and make sure he gets somewhere secure. Uh, so that nobody else can find him. I don't imagine they would based on where we're we're filming him now, but we'll just make sure he's nice and tucked away or back into the river. Um, we're not going to handle him at all. They're a protected species, like I said, but we'll observe. Awesome find. a new species for the vlog. A more common snake here in Hong Kong, but one we haven't seen yet um, because we started late in the season last year. So this is a Taiwan Kukri, the direct cousin to the previously shown Golden Kukri. Now these guys obviously um, look quite a bit different. All right, I've got some fire ants on my hand. Um, so they look quite a bit different in terms of pattern and color, but if you look really close, their little heads are actually quite similar. Uh, little shovel noses, big rostral scales right on the tip of the nose, and they're a subfossorial snake as well, just like um, the golden kukris are. So they have a different coloration scheme, obviously. They're a little bit more yellowy brown or tannish brown. This one's quite um, beautifully spotted and flecked along the body. You can see there, but a lot of them are actually um, quite uniform brown or close to uniform brown with uh, sometimes some striping on them, some faded striping, and occasionally you'll actually get ones with red stripes going down their back. And there's even um, reports, and I've even seen some photos of ones in Hong Kong that are actually all red like a, a golden kukri, but it's a Taiwan kukri, so that's quite rare. This is a much more common 
um, color scheme and morphology, but they're um, they're really interesting snakes, and they have really large um, rear fangs or rear teeth that they use for slicing open eggs, and they're quite adept at it. These guys, unlike the golden kukris, actually do feed on eggs, and they're quite good at opening them up. So I definitely don't want to get bit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, but since he's on the move, maybe I can lift him up and show you something else on the ventrals. You can see they actually have this, um, he's got a lot of flex on his belly, which is really interesting, but they also have this kind of salmon color down their bellies. This is uh, unique to the Taiwan kukris. The golden kukris don't really have that. So interesting find for an early morning walk. I'm going to go ahead and let this guy get on his way, but really cool that we could show you this. I'm off to see what else we can find later today. Evening everyone. We're out again looking for some herps and it's a bit dry and windy, kind of humid too, but kind of weird weather conditions going on tonight. So we haven't had too much luck with the snakes, but we're walking by a riverbed here and we managed to come across this, a short-legged horned toad, which is a relatively uncommon species in Hong Kong. They've got some pretty strong populations in certain areas, uh, especially around Hong Kong Island. But I know we hadn't had one of these on the vlogs before. So I thought since we're not getting too many snakes, I could stop and do a little filming of this guy. They're pretty cool. Little pointy eyelids there. And they've got um, very cool camouflage bodies. They match the leaf litter really, really well. So pretty unique species here in Hong Kong and one of my favorite amphibians. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get back on the trails and see if we can come up with something a little bit more slithery, but kind of a fun detour with this little guy. Okay, first snake of the evening. And we've got an oldie but a goodie, a white spotted slug snake. So I actually just pulled this guy out of a small but kind of deep gutter. And I'm assuming he didn't want to be in it because it's right next to a slope on a hill. And he probably would have been a meal for some other snake. So I am disrupting the natural flow of things a bit. But I thought it would be helpful to get him out so we could film him a little bit and maybe help him on his way as well. So this is actually a little bit of a defensive move that he's making. They kind of knot themselves up into little balls as one mechanism for defense. They also play dead and do a few other things, but this is a pretty typical behavior. And this one's got really beautiful, contrasty, black and white flecking along the body, uh, which is where they get their name white spotted slug snake. The white's actually quite prominent. So we've talked about these guys before. They're slug and snail specialists. They've got adapted jaws and pretty common snakes. So it's been a long, dry evening, and this is the first snake we found, so I'm pretty happy. And we're going to keep walking along, see what else we can find. But at least we've got one for the evening. And maybe we can take a closer look at the ventrals as well. You can see they've got ventrals that kind of match the rest of their body as well. Nice pearly whites with black flecks. Great and cute little snakes. All right, maybe put him a touch higher and let him on his way. All right, good luck little fella. Okay everyone, I am on a unique walk this afternoon. Um, there was a posting of a Taiwan beauty snake stuck in a 
drainage area and I was walking around to see if I could help it out before any poachers got to it or anybody killed it and I wasn't able to find that snake but along the way I found this beautiful little Indo-Chinese rat snake. This would be a, I would say a sub-adult um, and they're not as common in the area where I am today uh, but they are in other parts of Hong Kong so it's still kind of fun to see and he's a cute little snake and quite a looker with his yellow belly and nice tan brown scales so just wanted to make sure that I got this on film for all you folks to see and I'm going to be releasing him right here so I'll show you guys the release I just wanted to get him off the path and down into the woods a little bit so yeah pretty cool find you can see here actually it's a good shot of their really super long thin tails actually um and they're a pretty fast snake too so i imagine he'll take off quite quickly he's also really warm right now but yeah beautiful little snakes love these guys there's the tail look at that okay off he goes watch him disappear and he's gone. All right.